first things first when you're doing a jumbo braid, you need to section quite a thick part of the hair. Then you're gonna take your kinky hair. I'm using faux fro from Trendy Tresses. This is what it looks like. And what I do is I take three strands of it. So one, two, three, like so. And then I'm just going to start braiding this hair. What I'm not going to do is braid it tight because when we wrap the hair, it's going to become tighter anyway. And I feel like with goddess locks, it's best to not do it too tight because then it can just, especially if it's big, it can strip out your hair. So yeah, and then you're going to start braiding it onto this section doesn't have to be tight as you can see the root of this is quite loose so just gonna braid it braid it braid it braid it I've gotten about halfway ish not even halfway like a quarter of the way so this is where I'm gonna leave it for now Hold it so it doesn't unravel. So I'm going to use this hair. I wouldn't usually use ombre, but it was already open and I didn't want to open a fresh pack, you know? So yeah, take a thick, thick amount of the hair. So this is how much I'm taking. It's really thick. This is the Island Curls by Trendy Tresses, by the way, in case you're wondering. Then I'm just going to attach it to what we already started. So just continuing from where we were, I'm going to attach this now because I want them long. If you don't want them long, then don't attach it so late, attach it earlier. So now I'm just gonna begin to braid with it inside. And braid quite far down, you need to braid quite far down. your ends you'll see that now you've got your curly bits so this is what's going to be at the ends of our goddess locks what we're going to do now is start wrapping the hair so what I want you to do with these ends is just you can either cut them off or you can just keep plaiting it all the way, it's up to you. I'm going to take another two pieces of the faux fro hair. You can achieve this with Marley hair as well. And then I'm going to split the section into two. I'm just going to level it up. Like so. Is make sure the ends of these are as feathered as possible. Something like this. Your ends need to look something like this, so they're not blunt. And what I'm doing is placing this section over, making sure that this strand is left here. Then I'm going to take this strand and then begin wrapping it. So I start off by going underneath and then I just wrap the hair. You need to hold it as you're wrapping. You just literally keep wrapping as you go down so go down as you wrap make sure you're holding the hair nice and taut as you wrap and as you can see our faux lock is forming let me zoom in so you guys can see so that's what it should start to look like and just keep wrapping and as you can see this is coming to an end so you're just going to kind of wrap it on itself and because the ends are feathered it can stay without unraveling which is why we feathered it in the first place then what you're going to do is take this old strand that we had before so remember we left that strand there you're going to continue with the stone strand so again same thing you start wrapping it around and 
this is what <laughs> the thing about faux locks is they look so nice and pretty but they take forever the ones that i have on my head now the jumbo ones they took me six hours which may not seem like a long time but i've only got 18 of them in my head so to me that is a long time so now as you can see i've run out of hair i've run out of hair so i need to take more so i'm going to do the same thing take two strands and split them into half and further them carrying on from where we were which is here I'm going to again place this over making sure it's the same length so i'm placing it over like so holding it tall then i'm going to begin to just go around like so and down as i go along try to not go over the same knot more than once no, sorry not the same knot try to not go over the hair more than once too much otherwise it begins to look really bulky and then it won't look even you want it to look nice and smooth And the more you get used to it, the quicker you can do it. last bit we need otherwise we're gonna be here all day <laughs> that's what it looks like so far but do you remember what i'm going to do actually so that we're not here all day i'm just gonna unravel it a bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the last, the end bits of the extension, just separate it so that it looks more feathered like that. And then I'm just going to wrap it going upwards this time. So I'm going to take that little section and then just begin to wrap it on itself going upwards so it can close the gap. Again, like I said, don't wrap it over the same thing too much, otherwise it begins to look too thick and then it won't look even as like the rest of the hair. I don't think I'm going to wrap it going upwards this time because I've already done that a lot, so it's beginning to look thick. It's meant to look thick, but you don't want it to look unequal or uneven. that and we are done and then this is the end bit how that looks right let me zoom out and show you the full thing so this is this even too long to even show you guys all right let me just hold it up like that that's how the full thing looks obviously it'd be better if you did it with black hair but like i said just for the demonstration purposes i just use this hair so and it's easier to see the difference actually when there's two different colours. So yeah, that's how that looks. And now what I do to make it extra sturdy is I take it in between my palms like so. And then I just 
do this and this just keeps the hair nice and sturdy at the ends in particular. I usually start from here by the way when I do it and just work my way down. Kind of like the start in a file. <laughs> like so. Do it all the way down and then that's your goddess lock. So that's how it looks at its true length. It's very long. So this is if you want like near enough hip length goddess locks and they're jumbo. So this is how you achieve jumbo and long goddess locks. You can do it short, which would look cute as well. That's kind of how it would look if it was short. But yeah, this is when it's long. Cool. So I hope that helped you guys. And if you have any more tutorial requests, let me know. Thank you for watching.